everybody. Welcome again here, Facebook Live. As always, Patrick, Rex, thanks for tuning in here today. Really feels like Friday today, doesn't it? You're, you're dressed so. <laughs> it's a long weekend. Alo not? Aloha Friday. <laughs> awesome. Well, we have a pretty, uh, pretty exciting, pretty important topic that we're going to talk about today. I'd say. And that is the LADWP rebate. This is number 32, our deep dive into the solar rebate, which is expiring very soon. Soon? Yeah. yeah. End of the year. End of the year. Kind of came up out of nowhere. It, just, it really did. Yeah. It was, it's been a rebate that's been around for, for ages, I feel like, and then, yeah, yeah just, it's, it's going away. It's kind of crazy. We kind of just found that, what, two, three weeks ago, and yeah, yeah. we're just trying to let yeah. you guys all know that this is expiring very soon, so. Get Take advantage team. of what you can, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, the current program. Take it away. It's 25 cent uh, per watt rebate, AC watt yes. rebate. I tried to I tried to stump Rex before we started, but it didn't stop me. What's the difference between an AC and a DC rebate? AC and a DC rebate? Yes. Yeah. Well, the AC rebate's gonna be based off of the AC watts. Ooh, okay. DC rebate's gonna be based off the DC watts. How do you calculate what you're gonna get from the uh, the DWP rebate? So the DC watts, which is not what this rebate is, is just gonna be your system size. You yeah. have an eight kilowatt system, eight thousand watts. That would be. Just, it's as simple as 8,000 watts times 25. Right. What you have to do on an AC rebate is basically getting into your performance conditions. So uh, you're taking the inverter efficiency and the PTC rating of the panel, both of which they're, they're not full 100%. Right. So it's going to reduce that, uh, that, that rebate, and then you're going to multiply that out by the number of panels and by the rebate to get your AC rebate. Exactly. So if you have a... If, if, you're, if you're bored, you want to calculate this yourself, let's say you have a 300 watt uh, panel that's on your roof there, mm -hmm. that would be called your STC rating, your Correct. standard testing condition rating. Right. And we want to base it off of the PTC rating, which is your PVUSA testing condition rating. Yeah. So it's never going to be 300 watts, but it's... It's usually like 270-ish yeah. on a... Yeah, it's, pretty it's not a, it, yeah, It's not a huge, huge drop right. off, especially with the, you know... Most of the panels we're seeing come right. through, you know, exactly. even even at the 300 watt, which is kind of the low end wattage wise. Yeah, uh, still really strong efficiency in your your your, right. your PTC is pretty strong. And then the inverter efficiency is really high. That's what 97, 97 or higher. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. You, sometimes even you'll cook like 99, depending on what mm -hmm. inverter you end up with. So yeah, that, yeah. That, that'll be a marginal impact. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. 25 cents per AC watt as of right now. Okay, reservation due date. 12-31-2018, so we have four months from today. Yeah, exactly. Exactly four, exactly months, from four months from today. Uh, and yeah, and so, correct me if I'm wrong here, mm -hmm. but my understanding is you need to have submitted the request form for that rebate. Yes. Which usually takes place, you know, two, three weeks after yeah. you sign a contract? Yes. So, okay. yeah, because basically what needs to happen before the installer is going to file for this rebate you're gonna sign your agreement, they're mm -hmm. gonna to need to get you on the schedule for your site evaluation, which, you know, end of the year is always really, really busy. Right. Usually we see that site evaluation take place two to three days after you sign the contract. Mm -hmm. It could be a week, you know, two weeks after you sign it, just because everybody likes to try to squeeze in at the end of the year. And then after the site evaluation, they're gonna come up with their final plans. That's what they will need um, before they can file for that rebate. So really to be safe, if I'm gonna go try to get this rebate, I'm going solar now. Yeah. But I mean, you could potentially wait. You know, maybe a four six weeks before the deadline. But that's kind yeah. of pretty close. I wouldn't. I wouldn't push it past yeah. the end of November. At yeah. the end of November, we're gonna. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to guarantee it at that point. For sure. Yeah. Okay. So a little. Go ahead. You got something. I was just say it's totally possible. It's possible. You know, yeah. But like you said, the. Everything gets stretched towards the end of the year because everybody wants that tax credit. Yep. You know, and they want to take it on their taxes that year rather than have to, to you know, wait a little bit. So for sure, all installers, us, permitting office, everything's a little bit more stretched when it comes to solar yep. towards the end of the year. So don't cut it too close. Absolutely, that's a good point. So a little history on the rebate. Mm -hmm. So you said it had been going on for years. You were right. It's been on since 1999. Wow. So a long time. I believe it's, I'm not sure exactly what it started off at, what the value was, but I'd over say it's a dollar, over a dollar sure. a watt. So Which is crazy on a, on a residential scale. That's a lot. It's very significant. But you know, back then you're paying True. $9 a watt. Fair, fair, fair <laughs> enough. Fair. 
Anyway, so $317 million of Ooh. rebates have been set. So that is, that is quite a lot. Uh, funds remaining, I want to say that was at $8 million, like two weeks ago. So it's going pretty quick. That was an $8 million with the last <laughs> I checked. I checked this week. So it's maybe, maybe don't even wait till December. <laughs> <laughs> so $7 million funds left for all of LADWP. Um, so that's, that's going pretty quick. Um, all right. Okay, we have one example here. We have a little example up here that I'm being I was just, I was just doing some um, some math up off the top of my head, uh -huh. and I'm guessing that seven million is probably about you know 4,500 systems, give uh, or take. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, well done. Just calculator inside. It wasn't, yeah, a, wasn't gotta, a whiteboard behind us or anything. Got to feed that. Okay, so here's a little example of um, how this rebate can really impact your system. So here mm. we have uh, an eight kilowatt system size, which is Pretty standard, maybe a, a little, little higher. Little, yeah. 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 Gross system cost twenty five thousand. That's going to give you a rebate of sixteen sixty, so one thousand six hundred sixty dollars. Tax credit uh, would be about seven thousand. Net cost. You're looking at a difference here with and without the rebate. You're the math wizard. What do we got here? Yeah, eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, eleven or twelve hundred dollars of the net cost. So that's it's not jump change. And then your loan payment, if you're going to finance that system, which we usually see. A 10, 12 year loan here. In this is based off of 12. This is based off of 12. Yeah. So you're looking at about $10 a month that you're going to be paying, you know, a difference there for 12 years. So right. it's going to add up. Sure is. Yeah. Sure is. Uh, and then just to point, that rebate is just an estimated AC rebate. Yeah. Just using a, a, a baseline factor. Like right. I said, it's going to matter on the exact inverter, exact panel you choose. Yep. So. Panel count, all that good stuff. Yeah. Very good. So we wanted to keep it very short, very sweet today. Just kind of wanted you guys just to really focus on how important this LADWP rebate is. Yeah. So if that's your utility, strongly recommend if you're considering solar, which hopefully everybody that's watching here is considering that, you know, get to work here, get it going so you can get that secured. Right. That should do it. Awesome. If you guys have any questions at all, you know, email us, uh, leave us a comment. We love talking solar. We'll answer anything that you guys need. Yeah. Sure do. <laughs> Have a great holiday weekend, everybody. Take care.